Hi guys, here we've got another video. I've got this Samsung dishwasher with a broken um, soap dispenser. Let me just show you here. This little white tab has broken off, just snapped off. And uh, as you can see there, so you're unable to load and lock the uh, soap into the dispenser because this section won't stay closed, as you can see there. So we're gonna have a look at that today. First thing I'm gonna do is disconnect the power from the wall socket. Then there's just three screws to remove the front cover, three on this side. And um, there's some screws up here also, which you don't need to undo. They hold the handle and they're Torx screws. So it's just three on the each side. Let's show you around here. Just gonna do these three also. Okay, um, I've just got one of the screws out so I can show you. That's what they look like. So here you can see, I just fast forward this second, I'm just removing the six screws which hold the front panel, the lower front panel. And you've heard that fall away, so it's undone. So all I've got to do now is remove this panel, just put that out of the way for a minute. And then all I've got to do now is remove this sand deadening mat, get that out of the way also for a minute. And then uh, you get to the back of the salt dispenser and there's just two connectors, which you can see me undoing here. This one is for the um, solenoid, for the, um, to release the salt tray. And the other one's for the sensor, for the rinse fluid. Okay, so now that they're undone, all I've got to do now is undo these tabs here, which hold the unit in place. It's not screwed in, it's just these little tabs lock it in place. Just fast forward this section, because there's quite a few. I'm just bending the tabs out of the way. And you saw the unit move there, so they're all nice and loose. So all I've got to do now is just pull the front down and lift the soap tray out. As you can see there. And that's the, you can see behind it there. That's the soap tray there. Just put it to one side and close the unit up. Okay, so what I've got to do now to show you around the salt tray, this is where the rinse goes. And as you can see, the um, salt tray will not lock down. To show you the back, there's a solenoid here which triggers the lid for the salt tray. And you can see the action there which releases it when, when if the button was in place. And I'll just pop the button in just to show you. When you pop the button in and lock it, and I'll just press the reel at the back there and you see it open. So it releases. Okay, I've had a look on the internet. I've managed to find a few Samsung dispensers, but obviously they're not the right shape, not the right one. This one looks similar and it's for a beacon machine. And I found this looks like a spurious one on the internet. And that was for 29.76, but I'm not sure what size it is or if my connectors will connect straight to it. So what I'm gonna do is try and repair mine. So first thing I've got to do is, um, oh, this unit is a sealed unit. Um, there's a seal there, but the unit does not pull apart as it's, it's mostly it holds the rinse, rinse aid in the bottom there. So what I'm gonna do is pop this um, lid off for the Soap, um, soap dispenser, and you can see the gaskets come loose here. And have to have a look at that. And then just pop this hinge off also, and it should come away. As you can see there, you can do this with the without removing the unit. But if you're gonna remove the unit, you'll follow most of these instructions. Okay, so that's the um, lid there. What I'm going to use, just freeze frame this, I'm going to use this pen uh, insert and just cut the plastics off it and glue them to the underside of the lever, the locking lever. So I'll just um, cut a few short lengths off like so. 
and I've already glued one on but let me just show you how we do this one just put a spot of super glue on there where the previous um, latch broken off locator and I'm just gonna super glue this to it as you can see there I've already done the one side it's 10 seconds and that should be dry and just show you there that's the two plastic plastics uh, super glued on so all I've got to do now is just insert this like this and then I'm just going to use my solder iron to melt them down to create a mushroom um, I forgot to record most of it but this is the process I use I've got a hot solder and iron and I've just melted the um, pen insert down to create a mushroom so the um, lever doesn't come off and as you can see there sliding it along as I heat it up and all I've got to do then is put this spring in there the original spring got lost so just put that spring in as you can see there see the action there okay so now that that's done it's just a matter of putting the unit back together so I'll just clip the hinges on as before let's clip the back hinge on there and then just slot this front hinge in here as you can see so that's pretty much finished and I'll just show you how it works because they press this plunger at the back which is triggered electronically and the door opens as you can see there I just pushed it from the back and it opens see so just lock it down like that push the trigger at the back and it pops open at the appropriate time doing the cleaning process okay I'm happy with that so all I've got to do is reinsert it so it's back to the machine so all I've got to do now is bend these little tabs down which holds the soap dispenser tray in place just bend them back in because the soap dispenser just clips in there's no screws holding it now that I've bent them back it's just a case of open the machine up and inserting the unit but um, I'm just going to clean around the area because there's a bit of rust and what's not so I'm just going to give it a bit of clean before I reinsert the soap tray and um, there's a seal around the bottom of the soap tray which I'm just cleaning with oil as it was a bit rusty around the stainless steel side stainless steel side and it should help the seal to sit in easier also so it's just a matter of pushing it back in just make sure you've got it the right way and um, just it just pushes in like so and you can hear the clips snap in place which hold it down and I'm happy with that okay so now that that's inserted I'm just going to go along and just check all these tabs are down correctly and holding the unit in place as you can see there all the little metal tabs in on the underside as well make sure they're fully inserted and clipped in so I'm happy with that so all I've got to do now is reconnect the solenoid connector and I'll just use a pen to clip that in there you go and then this connector is for the um, ring aid sensor and just clip that in there like so and then all I've got to do is tuck these wires out of the way nice and tidy and then refit re this um, sand deadening mat just fits in there like so and then the front cover there's a couple of slots on the top of the cover which hook onto the underside of the handle just a matter of locating that correctly and fitting the front cover back on like so and then folding the unit down and then I've just got to pop the six screws back in which I removed previously Here you can see me just refitting the screws the Torx screws which hold the front cover 
in place. There's six of them, three on each side. Okay, I'm happy with that. So, I'm gonna show you here, I'll put some dirty uh, cutlery in, inside and just open the unit. Um, I, I was using these capsules, they are um, finished, but they're rubbish. So I'm gonna use this type, finished quantum tablets. And uh, I've inserted it, let's close the machine like so. And uh, let's set it on. And here you can see I've started the wash process. But um, I forgot to add the rinse aid, so I'm just gonna open the unit while it's still washing. As you can see there, the drawer's still closed, so that that's fine. It's not to reach this um, section where it opens yet. So I'm just gonna pop some rinse aid in this side here. And here, here you can see me just filling up the rinse aid container. Just fill it to the top like so. And then close the lid. And I'm just gonna leave it to run. See, here it starts it back up again. Okay, um, there's about an hour left, so I've opened the machine up again. And as you can see there, it's nice and hot in there. And the salt dispenser has opened automatically. So that seems to be working fine. I'll just close it back up again. And let it finish the cycle. Okay, it's complete now. There's only about uh, 15 minutes left. The wash cycle has completed. It's just cooling down. And I'll just show you here. Let's have a look at the plates. They're all nice and clean now. And smear free. I'll show you the glasses. All nice and clean also. I'll show you this glass here. Sparkling. I'll just pop that back in. So I'm happy with that. So that's the sixth repair. So with that, thanks for watching once again and please subscribe.